Hello, friends. Uh, welcome to this week's sermon preview. We have uh, taken a few weeks off of sermon previews with the summer, but we're back in our podcast room. We are. It's been, we felt like we lived down here for a period of time. I think we needed to give ourselves some space, and now we're back. Uh, Luke and I will be preaching this week, um, kind of wrapping up a mini series on the minor prophets. You heard uh, me preach from Micah, Luke preach from Joel. Rob preached earlier in the summer from Amos. From Amos, and now we're going to be bringing the word from Hosea, um, Hosea chapter 11, verses 1 through 11. Now, Luke, would you call the book of Hosea a happy one? Um, you know, the minor prophets are hard to read. I, um, They just really kind of make sure that you know all the ways that you are missing the mark. If you are Israel, and uh, as we read this, it's hard not to begin to see ourselves in the seat of missing the mark. Uh, at least it's been my experience over the last yeah, few weeks. Um, so just a little depressing at times. However, however, I really appreciate this chapter 11 in the book of Hosea as it ends that book uh, because of the way um, we learn about God in that moment. And and you made some really interesting points this week that we'll talk about more, but particularly around uh, God as parent um, and the way God uh, speaks tenderly to, to Israel. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah, and like Luke said, we've really been diving into these minor prophets, and it can sometimes feel a little nerve-wracking or a little scary. Uh, but in, we get a glimmer of hope. Um, in this week's uh, passage. And that's not to say that's a fully hopeful passage. No, there are 11 no. verses there. But uh, we do see a glimmer of hope and uh, what it means to serve a God that um, is gracious and loving, even in the face of all of the ways that we turn away, all the ways that we sin and fall short, all of the ways that we deny and, and often uh, miss the mark. Um, so to say. Well, and one of the beauties of the minor prophets is that none of them are super long. Yeah. So this one's 11 chapters. One of the things I'd encourage you to do if you see this on Friday or Saturday and you have a few minutes is to skim the book of Hosea. Okay. Just try to read the 11. It, it won't take you that long, but it kind of gives you the context for what we'll be talking about on Sunday mm -hmm. as we, we wrap up this kind of mini series on the minor prophets and particularly talk about, um, this book of Hosea and the way that God uh, treats uh, Israel through Hosea's perspective. Yeah. And so this week we will be preaching. We'll have great music. Also, I want to point out that this week after worship, uh, there will be an open house at Bethesda United Methodist Church, which is at uh, 315 Old Hawk Creek Road uh, in East Asheville. Luke and Rob made a video that you'll be able to find probably the same place that you're finding this either on YouTube or in the weekly e-news uh, to tell you a little bit more about that space and that project that's coming up. Um, also, uh, we had VBS this entire week and it was great to hear the sounds of the kids running up and down the hall and them learning uh, new music. So if you see a kid, ask them what they learned at VBS this week. Uh, and I'm sure they'll have plenty to tell you. Luke, do you have anything else? Yeah. And if you see a VBS volunteer, give that person a hug. <laughs> yes. I'm telling you, man, those are, those are amazing folks. We've had great volunteers all week, uh, just to help out with, with VBS and to love on these kids. And I'm, I'm so thankful for those folks. So we'll see you Sunday. See you Sunday. Thanks. <laughs>